So the one we've all been waiting for. Federer and Nadal. The world's number one to start us off. Rafa Nadal. Well, an early sign that perhaps Roger Federer will try to play more of this match from the forecourt than he has in any of their previous encounters. And coming in down the middle. I happen to feel that's more a little bit of nerves as opposed to a tactic, surely. would be for Federer's confidence and esteem really if he can hold on to this opening service game. And Peter you don't have to hear in the first game Federer say come on do you? As he did saving the second of the two break points. Oh yes. The great champions seem to have a knack for starting matches out well and coming up with big shots when they most need them. about it this is a vital game for Roger Federer because if he does lose it the whole crowd might just envision a bit of a whitewash if he can hold serve and, and just get into this match competitively it could be a whole different story
Yeah. What a fine touch from Rafael Nadal at the net. It's a part of his game that he is adding to slowly and steadily. And it's not often that Federer loses the initiative when he's hitting his forehand. And that happened in that last point. Gradually, Roger Federer starting to time the ball. Now the previous point that Federer won from the unforced error from Nadal on the forehand. I'm surprised that Federer kept trying to attack that wing. I think he's got to look to use his forehand on an angle cross court to Nadal's backhand. Extremely thankful for the unforced errors. Off of Nadal's forehand. You get the feeling that they won't last forever. Well, the most relieved man in Hamburg right now must be Roger Federer. Having saved two break points in his opening service game. He will be feeling a whole lot better than just five minutes ago. Yeah, nervous. Seven minutes of play from Federer. And I feel that when he does start to settle down, you certainly would expect that. Then maybe you can look to see his sort of tactics that he's going to try and employ against Nadal. Interesting. Federer focusing a lot of his attack right down the middle, and perhaps that is a wise tactic because Nadal's so quick, it doesn't matter if you hit the ball on the line and he gets to it. Maybe don't open the, the, the court up for him. See, that's the shot I'm surprised, Peter. He's got it on his forehand and he's looking to go back down the line. I would have thought maybe hit it aggressive cross to the backhand. Try and put Nadal under pressure. We have 
have seen an inordinate amount of mishits from Roger Federer this week, especially off the forehand. man in ATP Tour history to win the three clay court master series events in one year. Serve skids off the service line. Yeah, and obviously, the dog got the benefit of the bounce, but also going right at the body of Federer. He has so many rituals, it's funny to watch. Screaming forehand pass. That's oh, a real statement early on for Nadal. You really want to come into that shot? Because if you do, that's what's going to happen. On the run. A forehand into Federer's backhand caused all sorts of problems, but Federer defended it well. That's a truly wonderful point, and for me, Federer's best point in the match. He looked like he's sort of settling down now. So difficult for Federer to defend these balls when they're up over his shoulders. Again, a sensational point, but Federer paying the price of not putting a first serve in play. Struggling mightily. Well, only 41% of his first serves put in. He just needs to get a couple of cheap points a game. But this will be a tough road to hoe. Break point.
once again. A superb point. Rafa Nadal just seems to cruise along. Up an early break. First blood to Rafael Nadal. Just to warn you, in about 10 minutes' time, you'll need to press your red button to go interactive and continue full coverage of this gripping final. That's in around about 10 minutes' time. Just press your red button. Back to Barry and Peter. Rafael Nadal on the back of his first break of serve. There's a bit of a quandary for Roger Federer because he would normally like to chip that backhand return of serve, but the slice historically has not been an effective shot against Nadal. Federer, his two best shots letting him down. The first serve percentage is Peter highlighted and also the forehand. No winners. Eight unforced errors. better that's the sort of shot that Roger Federer has to hit and it didn't even go as a winner that's what he's dealing with here. and that's what Hewitt did very well yesterday against Nadal okay Hewitt's a double hand and Federer is a single hander but Hewitt hit that cross court backhand very accurately and very early takes control of the rally, he just does not let it go. But isn't Federer helping him that because he's going to the forehand Nadal and makes it easier for Nadal to get that cross-court forehand to pin Federer back. Well, first forehand winner. For Raj, quite a smile from America, but maybe soon. Great champion, it has to be said, and usually when they are involved in a match, they just come up with the right shots at the right time, whatever is needed. He's showing good courage as well. I think he realizes that Federer is looking to be more aggressive on the second serve than Federer has done in their previous meetings. It's always smart, isn't it, early on to sort of say, well, if you want to run around it, I can go down the middle. Well, that's 
certainly fooled Nadal. It's a wonderful pickup from Federer. That was a little gem, wasn't it, from Federer? Great touch. Scope out. Well, at this stage, you need to press your red button uh, to continue watching uh, this final from Hamburg. Interactive coverage can... ...away now. Great point for a double break. Roger Federer just can't seem to time the ball well enough. Bounding in his face. And Nadal is bounding around the court. Up two breaks. Well, didn't Roger say in his press conference after yesterday's win that he feels he knows how to play Nadal? I'm not so sure from what I've seen in the opening five games that he, A, has got the strategy, and B, if he has got the strategy, he can execute it. Well, he certainly played a, a great match last year in the Rome final. Federer had a couple of match points, and probably had he converted one of those, well, the ensuing matches might have been a whole lot different, but he didn't. And it, it appears that Federer, not nearly the player he was a year ago, not striking the ball as cleanly, not moving as well, all around just not as confident. Even though know, his support team and supporters remain steadfastly behind him. Just a bit more than that. We'll see if Roger no, Federer chooses plan B. Relaxes a little bit and just tries to put the ball in play a little more often.
Perhaps it needed Federer to go down two breaks before he just relaxed and just said, 15 -40. Okay, maybe I'm not Superman. Maybe I don't have to hit every ball for a winner. Good that he's looking to attack the second serve, but it's a lot harder for a right hander to hit that down the line against a lefty than it is to drag it cross. Well, that time with the penultimate forehand, Federer took a little something off the ball. Nadal definitely didn't react well, but then went back to just whacking it. Such is the pressure that Nadal puts on you with his speed. Right in the corner. It was a truly wonderful defensive shot that from the dog because Federer hit the perfect return. Oh, yeah, it's a wonderful point. And a good play from Federer. The miss hit from Nadal really put him in trouble. He never seems to panic, does he, Nadal, on the passing shots? First time he's been under pressure on his serve to save those two break points, Nadal. 81 clay court matches and counting. Hey, is there anyone out there besides Mark Petchy who thinks he won't get to 82? Thank you. 
29. I like the way Federer started this service game. That's serve and volley. And volleying short to Nadal. Something that Andy Murray did to great effect against Nadal at the Australian Open. Oh yes, well finally Federer puts a few first serves into play and holds to love. Could it be the start of something better? Rafael Nadal, like a machine on this court surface. With the added benefit of new balls. That was a nice point to see from Roger Federer. Far more relaxed than he has been at any point in this match. Oh, yes. Uh, interesting idea, but Nadal was on that drop shot in a flash. Well, we know Nadal's always been one of the very best movers side to side, but this is an area he has improved out of sight the last couple of years. Moving forward. Yeah, and perhaps Federer wanted to go behind Nadal with the drop shot. It's almost as though he tenses up just before he attempts to hit a, a, a winner from the back of the court. And it is just not happening for him so far. Now with a couple of set points. 